Okay, question six was all about roof inspection. I mean, so far it seems like a pretty standard test. There's been like a couple of bits and pieces, but um, so far so good, I think, on this test. It's the first time I've seen it. Um, so the roof inspection algorithm, what we need to do for roof inspection is we identify all of the vertices with an odd valency, so an odd number of arcs going into them. So that's going to be um, what, three for B, three for E, three for H, and then there must be another one around here, F. So what we do, once we've identified them, we match them up. So B and E are matched together, and F and H are matched together. Then we do the same for the other ones. So we can match B to F, and then we match um, E to H, or we can match B to H, and then E to F. And then what we do is we find the shortest way to get from B to E. So there's usually a shortcut to doing this. So I think B to D to E, so that's 45. Could do a 46 that way. No, I'm quite happy with 45. So 45 from B to E, and then from F to H, I think it's going to be 30. Which is this way. So it's going to be 30, which gives a total of 75. Um, now, the quickest way to get from B to F is B to C, C to K, and then that way, potentially. What's that? 39, 40, 50. So B to F is 50. And then E to H. So it isn't 68, we've got 5, 12 and 18, so that's 35. So that gives us a total of 85. Now again, feel free to leave comments on this just in case I haven't found the correct way. B to H, the quickest way looks like to me. Um, here, that's going to be 40. And plus 30 is going to be 70, so... And E to F, the quickest way is maybe this way. So 55, 65, which is 135. So clearly, this one is the shortest. Again, um, that's just first time quick look. So again, feel free to if you see a shorter path for any of those, let me know and I'll change the video. And so, if we're going from B to E, we said the quickest way to get from B to E was 45, which was oh, B to A, A to D, and then D to E. Therefore, B, A, a, D, and D, E have to be traversed twice. And F to H um, is just this one here was the shortest, which was F, J, and then H, J all need to be traversed twice. And You've got to find the length of the inspection route. So the length of the entire graph is 384. So it's going to be 384 plus whatever we've got, which is 75. So 389, 459. 459, whatever meters. And I believe that's that one. It is now possible for a guard to start at one vertex and finish at another vertex. What it's saying is that we can now be semi Eulerian or semi traversing. Um, the explain why the inspection should start at a vertex with odd degree. Um, the way I would go about explaining this one is that when you start with an okay, so let's do this over here. Use my full range of colours. So if you've got an odd number of arcs,
box going into something, when you um, leave, you're going to be going out. And then next time you're going to be coming in on a separate arc, and then you're going to be going out on a third arc. So in out. So I would say a vertex with an odd valence figure they used, odd degree. Um, needs to be used as a starting point. As once you leave the vertex, there will be an even number of arcs. to traverse, i.e. as many going in as going out. I would also add to that and say that a network is or graph is semi traversable if it has two um, vertices with odd degree. One must be starter. One, one must be the start. The other the finish. I think between that you'd probably get the two marks. Okay, so the guard decides to start the inspection route to F. So if we go back to it, we've got B E. Oh no, B E. Let's see what I've popped out now. Uh, B, E, H, and F. Now we're going to be starting at F, and we've got to finish somewhere else. Now, the, um, what we've got to do is we've got to try and match up two of the remaining three in the shortest distance possible. So, before I'd rubbed it all out over here on the right hand side of the page, I had all of the different um, n uh, different lengths it took to get from B to E, B to H, and E to H. So if we have a quick look, B to E, I think we said was 45. B to H was 34, what did we say, 40, 52, 60, 70. And E to H was 35. So the shortest way to match up the remaining three is E to H. So I would say the shortest way to match up two of the remaining three is to match up E and H. Therefore, finishing at the remaining vertex with odd degree B. So 
therefore you might want to say then 384 plus 35 equals 119, but it doesn't ask for it, so you perhaps might not need to. Oh, <laughs> except you do. Set possible route and its length. So we've now got to start at F and end at B. So if we're going from E to H, the things that we're going to need to go over twice are going to be this one, this one, and this one. And so the root is going to be 419 because we're only adding on another 35. Um, so it's then that completely up to you which route you choose. But you've got to start at F and then end at B. And the way I do this is I actually draw on this graph here. So F, K, L, J. J K C F Went to J, what's that part of the graph then? J H G H and E D G D E C B what's that one? B D A B. So as long as you start at F, end at B, and as long as you go around all of the rest of them, it's absolutely fine. Okay, and that was that question. Quite a long question that one. Again, feel free to comment if I've made mistakes. Failing that, like, subscribe and share.